Welcome to Century One. In this video, we will discuss what an advisory condition is. We will also discuss the conditions list and events log tabs. Advisory conditions are one of the most powerful features within the Century One Performance Analysis solution. These conditions allow you to design and implement proactive alerting by utilizing custom thresholds and queries. The power of these conditions is virtually limitless. Century One allows you to set up advisory conditions at different levels of inheritance within your monitored environment. You can view the conditions that have been configured at these levels of inheritance by expanding the nodes in the navigator pane and double-clicking on the conditions list underneath these nodes. Within the conditions list tab, you will see four different sections. The first section displays a list of conditions that are available for your use. This section provides information such as the condition name, the type of condition, the object where it has been applied, and more. You also have options to create a new advisory condition, edit an existing advisory condition, or jump to the events log for a selected condition by clicking on the appropriately named buttons. Directly below the conditions section, you will find the second section that includes the details of how the condition was designed. You can also see the values returned when the condition was evaluated within this section. The third section directly to the right of the condition details provides a description of the condition that has been selected from the list. The fourth section in the upper right corner of the Events Log tab displays data about the last time the selected condition was evaluated, including the result, duration, the type of evaluation either manual or scheduled, and more. Let's now jump over to the Events Log tab by clicking on the Show Events Log button. Alternatively, you can open the Events Log by double-clicking on the Events Log under the Levels of Inheritance in the Navigator pane. Within the Events Log tab, you will see three sections. The top section lists the conditions that evaluated to true, from here, you can assign a specific condition or set of conditions to certain users, view the duration for these conditions, check the state of these conditions, close out the condition, and more. In the bottom left of the Events Log tab, you can view the definition for the conditions, and in the bottom right of the tab, you will see a description for each of the conditions just like we saw in the Conditions tab. In the next video, we will discuss the parts that make up the definition of the advisory condition and walk through setting up a condition to monitor one of our baselines.